Alright guys, it's been a while since I tried this. I wanted to see uh, potentially how many likes we could get in 24 hours on this first part. I uh, usually only wait for like big games because I don't really know what we're capable of. I think I, there's been a couple times where we broke over 50. Sometimes I think we get close to 100,000 on certain series. So uh, any other support you drop on this is greatly appreciated. This is going to be a full series giving you guys everything I got, daily uploads, everything. So, but yeah, I was going to give away two copies of the game, uh, one for Xbox, one for PS4. If you want a chance to win, see if you like the video or leave a comment of when you found my YouTube channel. Always interesting to see how many people were around when I played uh, the original game, you know? So, like, for this instance, it'd be the original Doom. Uh, I don't know if that was back in, like, 2016? Has it been four years? Because I know it, I was playing that alongside Uncharted 4. Anyways... Let's get into it. Uh, I played this game back in January. Like the first few hours of the game, I've actually already experienced it. So I kind of have a little bit of knowledge where to go and stuff like that. So hopefully it makes it enjoyable to watch. Oh yeah, guys, one more thing before we start it up. Check this out. So you can customize pretty much anything in game, like all the different enemies, different skins you can unlock for them. Uh, most of them just have default, but for Slayer, you get the one with the flames. I'm not gonna do that for the first video. I might do, uh, this skin like down the road it is very distracting there's constantly flames on the screen so uh, i'm gonna stick to all the like the original stuff for now all right guys i love you let's do this against all the evil that hell can conjure all the wickedness that mankind can produce we will send unto them only you Rip and tear until it is done. I'm gonna take a huge risk on this video and keep music on. I feel like there's no way to play this game without the soundtrack. It's just too much, uh, it's just too much badassery to just toss to the side. So it flows with everything, too. Glory kills are gonna be huge. Uh, so basically, there's two types of things you got the chainsaw if you need ammo. You have a little gas can thing. We haven't got that yet, but uh, glory kills is basically to get health, any kind of armor and stuff like that. So the essential goal is to just do this any chance you get. And, and it doesn't cost anything to do it either. All right, let's just keep looking around. It's funny. I had Bethesda over and I played. I, what was it? The first few hours of this game. 
I won't spell too much. I'm just gonna play it and just hopefully I don't suck. <laughs> All right, uh, press square. Here's the one thing I did do a lot when I played it early on. I press square way too many times because in most games, that's the reload button. In this game, you don't really do that. So, but yeah, here's kind of how it works. All the ammo, any ammo you'd want. I like the colors and everything too. So sometimes you'll see me swing my chainsaw like this, <laughs> just randomly. It's just habit. <laughs> it's a bad habit at that. So I thought this was the first one that had he Hell on Earth, but I think Doom 2 was the first one that did that. All right, we got double jump. I like how early on you get it. I'm gonna look around really quick. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this game. Um, let me see something really quick. All right, uh, weapon mod, selection tutorial. Uh, let's see, gameplay behavior, sticky bombs. I'm trying to see s some of the stuff's actually a little bit different because I played this back in January. Sticky bombs are a must. You can kind of shoot from a distance and it's so nice. It's got a little AOE effect. All right, activate a weapon mod, press it. All right, yep. Oh, let me get this green. I like question mark back there. Here's how it kind of all works. You don't really need to use it on these enemies. I mean, if you want to, you can, but... All right, here it goes. Let the fun begin. One thing I really appreciated when I first played it was how fast-paced the game was. It's just like the first one. Or the one in, what was it, 2016? I don't remember when that game came. I remember I played it alongside of Uncharted 4. There's a codex for everything. I love it. It's just, just going in. This is going to be such a fun series. I honestly am excited because a lot of this stuff will push you to the limit. There's so many times where you'll just be like on the verge of death and just barely make it out alive. So but this, it's going to be a huge like speed run game, I bet. I call this like the first of the big three. We got this one, then Resident Evil 3 re Remake, as long as it doesn't get delayed or anything. And then Final Fantasy VII Remake. Kind of like the big three of uh, the start of the year. So I'm excited. Some of that ammo, did it fall? Oh no, it didn't, but it fell all over. I wanted to go back to that first area. I could have sworn there was a question mark, which is basically just gonna be like a little secret. <laughs> just, just overdo it. I can't wait to get the dash. I don't remember exactly when you get that, but you can like move out of the way essentially. Probably all kind of like Bethesda Easter eggs in this game. I know they kind of had a rough track record. Uh, I think it was around like when Fallout 76 and stuff came out, but I feel like since then they've turned around. I was hoping this game would kind of come out along like Evil Within 3 or something. That would have been amazing. Oh, let me go. I gotta get some ammo really quick. Probably gonna be a long first video. I don't know if they'll all be that long. Uh, just gonna go kind of based on level to level. Uh, sometimes it might vary. But this first part's going to be a doozy. <laughs> What's that guy say on Gro Groundhog's Day? Or on Groundhog, is it? It's not plural, is it? I gotta go look at that title again. I gotta kill all the enemies, I think. I think I already did, Never mind. Let's look at the code actually quick. All right, Hell Barges, check this out. Atop mighty thralls, the Hell Priests oversaw the invasion of the mortal world. Uh, the Thrall Slave, Titan of the Underworld carried the priest temples into the wake of battle. If you guys need to read this, go ahead. I wanna view the image. That does look pretty cool. That's crazy, man. View content. Yeah, I'm gonna read that when I'm editing.
Nice. Oh, check this out. The first hell priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two hell priests remaining. <laughs> I was trying to hit that guy. Uh, I didn't get a chance to show you guys any of this stuff. That's the thing, when I was able to play it early, I wasn't able to capture and record a lot of it. Uh, let's look around really quick. Alright, uh, let's get the full auto. Which, I don't like this one particularly because it... You go through ammo. You only get 16 shots with a shotgun, so... Our weapon mod, swapping it. I would use it to show you, but then that'll just waste all the bullets. Hard objective marker, press down. I like that it's basic, kind of like the Dead Space stuff. So we're supposed to go there. Let me go back over here really quick, though. I just want to double check the area. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I did, I think I did miss a secret, like, in the very beginning of the game. There's got to be all kind of hidden stuff in this game, though. All right, here we go. Yeah, if my videos get taken down because of music, it is what it is. I'm just... I want to play this game and experience it the full way. Oh, here we go. We got a secret. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm going to probably go back and get the other one. I think you can... I don't know if this game's going to have, like, a new game plus or not. I'm going to guess it does, but I really don't know. Yeah, my goal is to make this first video as action-packed and as just thorough as possible. Plus, I was like, I I know how to play the game a little bit. I had some practice with it, so at least it, it's not like the first time I play most games where I'm sitting there struggling to learn the controls. Oh, nice. I didn't know you could do an aerial thing like that. That's pretty cool. A little bit of parkour. Did I get everything back here? It doesn't matter now. All right, weak point. Yeah, you gotta go for the tell. Uh, is a heavy range demon. Turn is weak point to destroy. Disabling is a long range attacks. Okay. Listen to that soundtrack. Isn't that so cool? All right, disabled. Yeah, they said you'd be low health a good bit. I just gotta be cautious. I love that when you do that, you're, you're like safe, I guess. Oh my God. Oh my God, I gotta move. I gotta move. Where's the armor at? Or the health, excuse me. Well, let me save that. It's not picking it up yet. Oh, let me grab this down here though, at least. Gotta just kind of take some time getting used to like the glory kills and stuff. Cause you can get all the health and everything from that. But I think for the most part, the game does a really good job of kind of not overdoing it. But I'm also playing on a less uh, a less tough difficulty than probably most people. <laughs> I'm playing on what's considered normal. That's what they advised me to play on. They said you'd be near death a little bit. I just love the pace of this game. It's like you can... You can play it however you want to. It feels weird without having the dash. I, I know we're going to get that soon, but like for right now, it just seems a little slower than I remember. I'm playing on PS4. Uh, a PS4 Pro with a solid state drive and everything, so I don't know... I just did it right there. I don't know how it's gonna look compared to like the PC versions and stuff. I played it originally on PC and it played awesome, so. But this is smooth, man. I played, I think Doom in 2016, I played that one. Hold on. Not like that's like an AoE. All right, nice. All right, let's go ahead and hop up here.
All right, nice. Weapon will uh, swap your weapons. Just tap it or you can hold. Heavy cannon. That's kind of cool that you can, before you grab it, you can change it. Oh, the map in this game is really awesome. All right, auto map stations. Finding an auto map station will reveal all undiscovered areas on the map. You can view the map in the map tab. Okay, we, we got pretty much the whole thing fair. Look at this map, though. Isn't this nice? I think that's awesome. It, it's so detailed. It's like, I remember playing, I think it was uh, Jedi Fallen Order. And I just had so much trouble with the map. A lot of people said the same thing. But, like, this just seems like it shows you exactly where you need to go. Why does it feel like there's something hidden over here? There probably is. This game's all about, like, momentum, it feels like. They do a really good job of just... Oh, look at this thing. Only goes to 50, but whatever. I keep missing my shot. It's like I'm nervous. <laughs> Alright, we got... You can only use the chainsaw when you have gasoline, so it's like, it, you can collect those. I love how everything's like a mastery type thing, too. Well, that was kind of cool. That was different. Like a shopping center or whatever. Ooh, hold on. We gotta come to the top on that secret. Yo, the auto- okay, the auto-aim's grabbing a little bit. Oh, hold on. Hold on, let me try this out. It's weird that there's no, like, aim down sights. I gotta get used to that. Insufficient fuel. So, if you have enough, I only got like one bar right now, but if I had more, I could, uh, I could get some ammo from that. I want to get this secret, but I don't really know exactly the best spot. I don't want to spend too much time. I'm going to play this game multiple times. I played the first Doom. Or not the first one. I played the original Doom back in like 2016 uh, several times. We're not jumping up there. Hold on. All right, guys, I think I know how to get to this secret. Straight down. Yep, nice. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, I feel like if I was listening to this music while driving, I would be getting speeding tickets for days, all right? All right, I need some uh, ammo here. It all, I think it gives you close to max. I think I, think I got like... Oh, like in right there. I just barely missed that. There's an ability you get down the road that you can dash further. So like I could be like over here and if they start glowing, I could like zap to them basically. Pretty cool. Hopefully this game's fun to watch, guys. I really am. I have such high hopes for this video. Like, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> it's just a such an awesome game. I love that you knock them down. Like, it just sandwich them. Yeah, the, the auto-aim grabs, I feel like, a little bit more than it did on PC on uh, console. Oh, I should have used chainsaw. Is there another enemy I can... Oh, yeah, here we go. Allow me to just, uh... Excuse me. Nice. Chainsaw Master, 21 out of 30. All right, finally, we get some grapple action. I see a little, little dash for it. That's so cool. What we got there? Yellow key card acquired. 
Ooh, hold on. <laughs> this game's all about getting close. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, let me go over here and grab this. That extra shot. You never know, right? We got the card. Now we can go in here. Oh my god. Hold on. Some of this stuff is the same. Some of it's a little different from what I remember. Um, this is awesome. I'm getting clapped right now. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta be cautious. I said you'd be near death a couple times, but I didn't think I'd be like that. Hold on, let's see what we got. Alright, nice. That's actually so cool. Oh my god, big guy. Hold on. I need some ammo big time. Alright, we got it. Yeah, take it. I'm just like taking it easy over here. Oh, just watch out. Um, low on bullets, but I have to go across. We should be all right. Looks like the other gun has plenty of bullets. All right, so we got two options here. Now that we have two guns, precision. What does this one do? This. Oh yeah. Ooh, I want that. <laughs> I want that a lot, actually. That is awesome. I didn't get a chance to use this gun too much. I was primarily on that shotgun spree for a bit. Our guys, sorry for the weird cut. Sometimes the dogs decide it's time to bark. All right, frag grenade. Here we go. L1, launch a frag grenade. Uh, all right. There's just so much in this game that's just... It's not, it's just an old school type method, you know? There's no reloading. It just feels like you're playing the very first game all over again. Oh yeah, you see the sticky bombs and it glows? I do like the blowfish. <laughs> Blow, blowfish? I can't speak. There it goes. I got it. Time to get this glory. Nice, let's go. This game's just all about momentum. I love it. I think a lot of games I've played, there's a lot of like down times. This game, it's just nonstop. Should give me a good bit. I can grab this. I haven't really used the grenade much. I won't grab that ammo just yet. Use a couple more shots and then... Alright, there we go. Nice. Yeah, you get so much for it. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's like everybody just... All of a sudden, it's a kill. Hold on, let me just... Let me just take it easy. Oh, nice. You know, it's been so long since I played the first game. I uh, probably should have went back and played it just a little bit before uh, playing this. But I just, I don't know. This game just, it's just so nice to have it out finally, you know. This is not going to be easy. Um, yeah, hold on. I don't have any... Oh, it's out. Hold on. I need to, uh... Fix this a little bit. Yo, I think that little... Ability I was doing on the other gun was... That thing went in. 
like the micro missiles or whatever they were. Because that thing was like, it, I did two shots of that, and then it was like my first shot with a shotgun did so much damage. Unless it was just like a finish off type thing. Yo, check out the stuff in the background. Apparently you get to go on that later on in the game. I don't know if that's uh if that's like a rumor or what, but that's gonna be badass if we can. Hold on, what's back here? This feels like a hidden area, doesn't it? I bet you there's all kind of secrets just like down in the lava. Whoa. Actually, hold on, let's try this. No, okay. I had an idea there. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Is this going to work? The UAC would like to thank you for your support during this transition. Your suffering continues to inspire us. This is gonna hurt. I'm gonna fall to my death. Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, we got an armor piece right there. Um, all right, here we go. No, I, I thought I did it in time. Hold on. Supposed to just be a, an easy little. Really? Hold on. What? Yeah, like last minute you can do that. What in the world? Uh, let's go. I've, how did I make that? <laughs> I want to go across. I want to get that. Uh, let's see. Can I make this jump? All right, pretty, pretty easy. All right, we're good. I'm glad there's a grapple option in this game because if there wasn't, it'd be bad news bears, you know. All right, here we go. I remember these things. They caused me a lot of problems. <laughs> I don't remember the strat, though. They randomly just pop up, it seems like. Reminds me of Dead Space a lot. I mean, I hope we get a Dead Space 4 one of these days, you know? I know Visceral's not around anymore. You never know. I would fund it myself if I could. Make the ultimate horror game. <laughs> Alright, get aboard the Citadel. Ooh, hold on. Oh, this room. I remember this. This is going to be a tough one, guys. Wish me luck. All I'm saying. If I zone out and just don't talk for a second, it, it literally is just a uh, just a type of game that does that to you. You just kind of get overwhelmed with everything. I'm gonna just grab that help while I still can. Well, I don't want to do it yet now. Oh my God! Hold on. Oh dear, hold on. Oh, that was my chance. Yeah, my biggest thing is like getting near the enemies. I keep forgetting you're invincible uh, when you do these like glory kills, you know? Go up top, get this. That was, I don't think that was there early on in the game. I saw it from a distance, though. So. Once you kind of get your bearings with this game. I, I remember when they uh, they came over and I played it for, I don't know why I grabbed that with four needed, you know.
But yeah, I remember they, they made me play it for like over an hour just to get used to the controls and everything. Guys, sorry for the weird cut. I don't know what it is about today, of all days, I decided to finally play uh, this game, and Chubbs has just been jumping. At me. It's just like, like there's a lurker out there. All right, here we go. So we pretty much just did this area first try. I was kind of surprised. All right. Well, let's get out of here. That soundtrack is just banging, isn't it? I love it. Look at all this. I'm just gonna hop in there, man. Let's get it. I feel like they did a really good job with the level design. Oh, I need some ammo. Hold on. I like how you constantly have to kind of switch between do I need health? Do I need armor? What do I need? You, or not armor. Well, you actually you need both. <laughs> But you need a ammo more than anything, I feel like, because without it, you can't really do anything. I feel like it's way more important. Oh my god. I was trying to get this. There we go. That was so sick. It's like he flipped them all the way. Oh, hold on. We got some stuff around. There's got to be some more secrets around here. What is this? Oh, oh my god. Wait, what? I got to take a little damage here. Extra life acquired. What would be the purpose of that, though? I guess you'd have to you'd have to come through this side to get it properly. That's kind of cool. My assumption is if you do the extra life mode, that's the kind of stuff you have to go for. The con maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. That's kind of funny, though. Extra life. <laughs> it's like a green mushroom just appears. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. Yo, look at these. Look at the size of these chains, man. Oh, my God. This reminds me when I used to play Quake a lot. <laughs> I just like it's like just a fast-paced shooting. You don't get that a lot nowadays, I feel like. Yeah, the design is really good right here. Alright, fast travel. I uh, allows you to teleport to predetermined points in the map. Use it to find additional items to complete. Optional encounters. Fast travel unlocks near the end of the mission. Okay. Must be the end of the very first one. Uh, anything up here? Doesn't- Oh, there's something over here. Hold on. Would've missed it. Alright, so this is just another thing. One of the three hell priests. Okay. If you guys want to read this, feel free to. There we go. Let's pause the screen, you know. The con maker is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Uh, 
this stops nothing! The sacrament of this world to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be restored once again. As it is written, from the souls of the non-believers! You will not save them from their judgment. Nice. Hell on Earth, uh, Exploration 9 out of 13, I'll take it. A lot of stuff we're gonna miss over time. I mean, the mod bots, toys, cheat codes. Uh, so we did miss one of the toys, which I think was actually the very, very beginning of the game. I know exactly where it was. I just didn't, didn't stop to look around more. Uh, event XP gained. See, I don't know much about this event. Uh, the game's not, it's not even out yet. I'm playing it, uh, as you're seeing this, several days before it actually drops. All right, hold to continue. Here we go. All right, Fortress of Doom. Cheat code, uh, progression tips. Play with cheat codes through select missions does not disable any progression. Oh, you can play with cheat codes in this game? Hmm. That's an old school. <laughs> I do not have the means to locate the second hell priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. We will need a replacement. Yo, check it out. Portal destination confirmed. I've completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. So I like, look, look around the little... This is like the central hub area for the game. Reminds me of like Splinter Cell Blacklist. You have that like little section where you stay at. Here we go. Flame belch. A little bit of training here. All right, set enemies on fire, and they will drop armor shards. Kill them, and they will drop the most armor. So you set them ablaze, then you just shoot them. Hmm. I didn't use that much. Here we go. Yo, X seems to drop a lot. So, okay. That's how we get the green, baby. All right. So glory kills. When they're glowing, you get the health. You do the flames to get the armor. You do the chainsaw to get the ammo. It's as simple as that. Just gotta remember that. <laughs> Alright, Sentinel Crystal Tutorial. Uh, permanently upgrade your health, armor, or ammo capacity. Uh, now, here's what I was talking to one of the developers. Uh, they actually said that ammo capacity is probably your best bet. Uh, just because, you know, you're always having to get it. If you run out of the chainsaw... Well, you're kind of screwed, but there are ammo spots all over the map, so you have to kind of pick the two you want. I think the one I selected the first time, Demon Drops Armor at a Faster Rate. I like this one. Let's do that. All right, continue. Uh, yeah, Health Armor Ammo. Kind of shows you what you're going to get into. The two linked will give you a bonus. Consume the bonus upgrade. I'm going to do this one. Nice. Always about that ammo. All right, health armor and ammo upgrades are immediately applied along with any bonus upgrade. Search the environment to locate more sentinel crystals and improve your capabilities. I like how the simple stuff is just... Hold on. Oh, that was a quick little... <laughs> Our configure. I want. I just really want to explore, but there's nothing to really see here. All right, here we go. Portal's gonna go up. Yeah, it's as simple as, like, starting the next stage. It's like you mash that thing in. It's like, I don't know. It's just cool how they did that. All right, put an end to the demonic uh, consumption of Earth. The Hell Priest must be eliminated following the death. Oh, this is the same thing we read early on, I think. Or at least that's what I had you guys, if you needed to pause it, you could have. The load times on PS4 are pretty fast. I right, rebuild the Celestial Locator. Locate 
King Novik's chamber. Okay. Alright, the upper right hand corner was the stuff I was still kind of learning. Oh yeah, hold on. Something down here, I believe. Nice. Secret found. Hmm. <laughs> kind of getting my bearings, finally. Really? <laughs> Love how simple that actually was. Alright, so fuel... We're gonna have to make sure we keep the flamethrower everything active. I just love the scale of this game. Let's check out the map, shall we? Alright, so this is kind of the area we're going to, or that that's what we're actually in. It kind of looks like something out of Dark Souls, doesn't it? Alright, if you need guys in the it, feel free to. And then view the image. It's pretty awesome. Oh, there might be something down there. <laughs> I'm just exploring. Don't don't mind me. Oh, they stay on fire a long time. Hold on, let me get some ammo. Why did it say low ammo? I must have just picked some up at like the last second. Oh my god. Hold on. I'll time it just right. Another secret already? Let me go ahead and grab it. What I might actually do... I don't know. I want to make this first part long, though. So thank you guys. Uh, any other support you drop on this, I am... Oh my god. Hold on, let me try something. That thing melts. It's actually nuts. Hmm. All right. I guess we're going. Here. Hold on. Let me. I don't. Oh, so my ammo capacity. If you notice, it goes from 16 to 18 now. Little by little. Here we go. Blood punch. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, deals extra damage. Blood punch. I don't think this is in the early thing for me. Deals extra damage. Glory, okay. Gl glory killing fills the blood punch meter. Once charged, pressure to unleash. Okay. So we need to charge it early on. It just seems like it's a regular. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I like that counts towards your progress, too, even though it's like a little tutorial. Oh, I was supposed to use it right there. That, that's what they wanted you to do, at least. Plan on playing this game every single day until I finish it. My goal is to have this game beat just before I start Resident Evil 3, and then have Resident Evil 3 beat right before I start Final Fantasy 7. That's kind of the goal, so I might be spamming this game if you guys want it. Alright, runes enhance your abilities or... Okay, you have limited rune slots to choose runes to fit your playstyle, okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Greatly... Let's say you got that. Increase how long enemies remain in stagger states? Survive one death blow and briefly slow down time, giving you a chance to recover the rune recharges on death, okay. Uh, gain a speed boost after... So you... Oh, that's kind of cool. That's the one I was telling you guys about. I don't know if I'll go with that one first. Why would you want to go faster? I like... Sometimes it kind of gives you a breather. Hold in midair. Oh, the slow-mo shots. Oh, yeah. Decrease the charge time. Uh, or the recharge time. Hmm. I don't know which one I want to go here. Because I feel like launching further away probably is going to be the best bet. 
but also a speed boost. I don't know. Let's, let's go with this one. This is what I was talking about early on. Seek and destroy. Such a crazy, like, just... I don't know. I love this game already. All right, the rune tab of the dossier. Let's see. You can view and equip. Purchase runes by replacing the slots. Okay. So we're going to go with this one first. All right, it's now active. Let's see what we got. Combat arsenal. Yo, look at this map. I just love the design on it. Oh, hold on. Wait, can you go up right here? I wonder if you can. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's another one. I'll take it. So that, that extra life does work for you. Uh, I'm pretty sure the way it works is like if I was about to die, it just respawns me or it gives me like a free life. But I've gotten two since then. Or actually, it says I have three on the upper left-hand corner. I don't know. Maybe I'm all right. What have we got down here? This area reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus. Nice. Let's get it. Finding some secrets. Some of this stuff, I, I think I just remember where some of the stuff was, but at the same time, I didn't. I don't think I found that one I just found uh, beforehand. Oh my god. Eckerday did a big damage bump right there, I'm pretty sure. Says, uh, retrieve. Okay, let's see. I mean, what, what about the enemies in here, though? I want to do a little swing action because I think it goes somewhere. Oh, the thing over there. I forgot. I forgot what that's called, but. Right, if I can get an enemy to just maybe come to me, this might be a good one right here. Oh, ammo really quick. Alright, nice. Didn't fill it off, so. Yeah, I think there's a way you can get that. I forgot what that even does, but I remember something like that in the first game. All the Doom games, really. Alright, let's test this thing out. I don't know the range. Okay, that was a little... I think I, I like, overshot it a little bit at the start. Armor really quick, shall we? So it's like if you do both. Oh dear. I'm out of. Uh... Okay, nice. Get some armor there. Oh my God! Hold on. Ooh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Hey, extra life, let's go. I wasn't sure how that worked. I'd never used them before. I feel like the speed bump after you, uh... Hold on, let me... Get a little bit of armor here. A little bit of, uh, of a bump. I just kind of sprayed and prayed right <laughs> Yeah, the extra life thing is pretty awesome. Weapon point. Okay, complete all the encounters in the mission to earn weapon points. Uh, demonic corruption meter tracks the points you've earned. Each mission has 10 weapon points total. Spend weapon points in the arsenal tab in the dust to upgrade your weapon mods. Okay. Oh, that's right. You can upgrade these things? Okay, to upgrade it, navigate. See the available upgrades. Okay. Oh, look at this. So we got 
Increase the reload speed, explosion size, and increase by 45% the mastery. You gotta, I'm pretty sure you gotta get the other ones first. I kind of want to see the... Oh, we can't get this one, can we? We have to get quick rack, I think. Yeah. We didn't have enough for the other one. So we get both of those, we can get the mastery. Awesome. So now the reload speed on that's a little bit better. I'm just, I'm excited that, uh, this game's finally here because I've, I've I wanted to share it with you guys for so long. Alright, so you're not able to go here yet. I think we get something in a minute. This might be where we get the dash. If I had to guess. It's been a while. Like, I'm trying to shoot him, but I don't want to, like, kill him sometimes. Because I want to, like, be able to hit him. Hold on, this might not be a good idea at all. I feel like I just missed a whole bunch of stuff. Hold on, yeah, let me... <laughs> let me just backtrack a minute. Oh, what is that in there? Oh, that's the thing to get across. Okay, the wolf. I was wondering what this is about. Vega data entry, uh... Legend speaks of sentinel beasts, loyal creatures that live, are companions of the hardened warriors. Hmm. Interesting. This is gonna be fun. Figured I would do the first two missions of the game, kind of this first long video. After that, it might just be like a mission per video. Really don't know how I'm going to do it yet. So appreciate any of support, but I will be uploading this game a lot and quickly. <laughs> Alright, we got three little stations, looks like. Let's break each one. Oh, we got to go around the room. Okay. Yeah, it's blocked. Now, can I hop on the middle right here? I feel like I can. This game does puzzles pretty well. Oh, watch out. <laughs> Randy Orton in a place we've never seen him before. Oh my god. History of the Sentinels. Let's check this out. View content. If you guys want to read it, feel free to and pause it. I'm just going to kind of... Lock it in place for you for a second. I'm gonna read all this when I edit. I always do this every series I've ever done. I always just kind of do it like this. So, because otherwise I'd be here for five minutes reading. <laughs> here goes nothing. All right, dash. This is what I wanted. I love it. It's so nice. You can do it two times as well. So you can do it twice in there. So now you can kind of see the natural progression of getting back. Over there when we need to. Uh, hold on, let me double check. So it's gonna be a double jump or a double dash? Maybe double jump into a double dash. Hmm. I'm gonna get. Is there something over here? Oh my. Oh! <laughs> that was almost bad. <laughs> transgressions against the government, they are still of sentinel blood. What you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine. It is written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, 
You will bring down the heaven's wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. Alright, let's get it. Wanted to see if there's anything back here. Yep. I could tell right when I looked back. I was like, there's gotta be something behind that chair. I'm so glad we got the dash. Where's the cooldown exactly? Let's see. Okay, it's the bottom left hand corner. Then we got the main punch. If I could get back to that main area. Hold on, is there anything over here? I I'm trying to just make sure I don't miss too many things. <laughs> Sometimes there's stuff behind you, sometimes there's stuff way down low. Uh, let's check the map out really quick. Looks like a little army guy. <laughs> I love that. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> he broke his arm off. Let's get it. Double bet. I didn't want to like hit on the ground right there because uh I'm trying to get burned or whatever. Oh my god, get away from me. Woo! Come here. Nice, let's go. Weapon point acquired, nice. Activate the trans-dimensional portal. I want to go down here and just see if there's any- is there anything? Let me grab whatever else I can first. I'm using shotgun primarily. It's just my favorite gun, so... It is what it is. Hmm. Is there anything back over here? Yeah, let me- oh, let me just get this. This sentinel battery can be used to Ooh. provide additional power to your ship. Several modules remain unused. Finding more batteries will enable you to utilize the full functions of your command station. I want to just go see something really quick. Oh, almost failed. Alright, this is where we were earlier. Um, maybe I will just go straight there. I don't know. I Even looking at the map, I wouldn't be able to like figure out actually where... That spot was earlier that I couldn't get to. It it's actually might be the right way. I don't know. I don't know. What is this? Nothing there, I guess. I had a lot of fun playing this game. I know we're only on the first part, but thank you guys. Any and all support you drop on this. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it does well. All right, we got a little bit of a thing here. Hold on. Hmm. Wait, that was the spot over there. Yeah, let me go over here and grab this really quick. Hold on. Oh, yeah, the cooldown. It's like it won't do it in midair. Uh, let's. I want to keep going. I, I want to get this. Ah, uh, we got it. Let's go, man. What is this? Secret encounters are optional. Timed encounters hidden in the world. Any resources spent in this secret will not be restored afterwards. If you run out of time and fail, you retry the... Ooh. So I want to do this. I feel like I will, but... Uh, what? Timer? What's going on? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, so I'm gonna die. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Secret encounter failed. Okay. Well, now we kind of know what it is. It's just killing those two enemies. Hold on. Can we do it again? I want to do it one more time. I want to rematch, all right? Now that I kind of know what to expect. Oh, I'm not doing any glory kills on these things. Oh, 
All right, nice. Hey, we did it. So what, what do you even get for that? I guess it's just a thing. Maybe on the upper right hand corner we got something. All right, well, we're good. <laughs> I'd see, I don't know if that was a waste of time or not. I'm, I'm still kind of torn. Um, can we get up here without... Maybe I gotta go around and go back up. Seems like that might be the right way to go. Uh, let's do this then. Will that not open up? Uh, I think I gotta go all the way around, honestly. Hmm. It's pretty gotta go such a off the wall routes, you know. Oh, wait, there's a one up right there? No way. I can't believe I just found that. Found so many like extra lives in this. I don't remember much after this. What we got here? Plasma rifle? Hold on, what? Oh, this thing has some serious ammo. I didn't get this far, guys. Okay. Weak point, revenant, uh, heavy aerial demon. Yeah, it's just... Shoulder... Okay, shoulder cannons are weak points. Destroying them disables its long-range attacks, forcing it to do melee. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be bad. Nice. Let's go. Some armor, please. Thank you. I love the dash mixed with getting close to doing like the glory kill. It's such a cool combination of things. I love I'm shooting like in between both. <laughs> On that struggle bus, man. Let's get it. See how the auto aim grabbed that? That's so funny. What is through here? Hold on. Oh, it just it's like an infinite thing, I guess. Maybe it's just like a way to escape. I don't know. Alright, we got a spot we're going. Yeah, when I played it early, there wasn't any revenants in the game, so and but I felt like I've been here before. So I don't know. Maybe it's just different. Oh, look, we're on a giant hand, aren't we? Need some kind of core, I think it is. Oh, the hand's supposed to blast it. Well, let's hold on. Oh, there's a secret down there. Yeah, I'm supposed to obtain the core. It must be. Hold on, let's check in here. Another one up. Oh my god. Yo, I gotta be careful. I can't move or hop up. Really? Oh, how many shots did I miss right there? The panic set in, guys. All right, here we go. Uh, auto map. Nice. All right, finally. <laughs> Ooh, we get another upgrade. Let's get it. All right, uh, let's do... Let's check out this one. Hold on. Heat blast microwave beam. What does this thing do? Just like a 
Faster beam charge, increased range, quick fire. Man, that, that looks like it's awesome. But this also looks like it just... Calls him to explode on death. I like this one. I feel like it's gonna be very strong. There is All right, a nice. sentinel power core nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and clear the path forward. All right, we're gonna put this in that arm, which I'm pretty sure I can just hop down. But I wanted to see what's back here really quick. Is there any? Oh, there was the one up right here. All right, same thing. Ah, oh, we're good. All right, nice. Oh my god, I should have waited. What am I doing? Hold on, let's just do that again. Yeah, I sit. I, I just get here and I'm like. I get antsy. I don't know. I'm ready to jump. What's this? Uh, alright. Wait, how do we get to that wall up there? That's not good. Uh, alright, we gotta be... ...evasive now. I'll wait for it to come back. Man, the, the speed and momentum you get in this game is just awesome. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? I bet this is gonna be a boss fight. I don't remember how much of this at all. Look how big these doors are. Oh my god. Yo, check it out. Weak point. Uh, alright. This just looks... This is gonna be... It's gonna be fun. Alright, here we go. Bring it all. Let's go. Hold on. Is that one of those? Yep. I knew that, like, one more shot was probably gonna do it. I wanted to hop down there just in case. Missile ain't coming. Oh my god. I got my punch ability. I gotta get the other one. Oh no! Oh man, I had a chance. I shouldn't have shot that extra one. I had a chance for a glory kill there too. And a grenade. I, I gotta get this one thing I need to get like down pat is the grenades. What? Why am I down here with the extra life? Oh my god. Love it. Oh, I'm on fire. It's not going out here yet, Brad. Good gracious. I'm talking like I got the extra lives right now. Trying to get some glory kills going. Alright, there we go. Low health, low ammo, low everything. 
to be something, please. Haven't used my punch ability in a while. That does so much damage, though. It completely, like, knock all that stuff loose. My extra lives are coming in handy. All right, let's use the other guns for a little bit, shall we? I feel like if I was using a mouse and keyboard, I would have a lot easier time to uh, aim. Sometimes I feel like it was grabbing the auto aim a little bit. All right, dash refill. Grab a dash refill to completely... Okay, yeah, in mid-dash. Do you need four dashes? Hold on, what? Well, here goes. <laughs> That's so cool. That's a lot of dashing. All right, there's another core. Let's get it. Ammo, finally! Oh, hold on. Really? Extra life? Yo, I didn't- I don't think I used them as much when I was playing early on. I- I don't know if they were even in the game, honestly, but I remember being- having something like that? Oh, it's been a while. Alright, so we're actually on... Oh, this is cool. This must have been what they were talking about, where, like, eventually you'll be on some of this stuff. Here we go. We're going in! That is so cool. <laughs> Oh my god, not this again. Oh, the other one popped up and it faked me out a little bit. Yo, look, this reminds me of the Mario levels. That's so funny. Uh, I think you're invincible when you do that. Oh, I can't jump. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, back up. Oh, barely made it. Let's go. A little slow moving area. Yeah, you kind of get trapped in that stuff. Gotta use, I gotta remember to use my flamethrower a little bit. So we gotta kill all the enemies, looks like, to get. What am I stuck on? Something is still alive that's causing this door to be locked. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, here we go. I don't trust this. Shotgun completely out of ammo. Yep, 
Did he do that again? Oh, I can't jump. Are you kidding? Can't even slide. There's gonna be a tentacle right here somewhere. I know it. No. All right, we're good. Oh, what do we do? Oh, nice. Hold on. Another core, it looks like. These might move around. Let's see. I don't know what that did. Alright, guys. I found out what you're supposed to do after looking around. I just wasn't really... I knew it had something to do with this. I just couldn't remember what. Alright, nice. We got the core. Let's get it. I've had so much fun playing this, man. Let me tell you. This is my longest part one I've ever done, by the way. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Kinda, I don't want to do like super long videos forever, but right now I'm just enjoying them. Uh, all right. That is so sick. I got him. <laughs> all right, this is gonna be that double dash thing. Um, nice. All right, we're good to go. Hopefully. Hey, the level design is just really, really intuitive, if you would. What is this? Oh, it's one of these things. Nice. Uh, let's go to... Let's get this one. We get the full effect there. I'm getting attacked right now, too. And we got to get out of here. It's going to be tough. Guaranteed. Going to get grabbed. No? All right, we're good. What is that? Oh my god. Uh, all right. There's not enough range on that. I need like a sniper rifle. This is a really big area. Like, this whole entire level's been, like, huge. I don't know. Oh, no! I'm gonna burn! Oh, man. I was trying to get down there in time. Whatever. All right, uh, History of Sentinels Part 3. Did I ever get Part 2? I don't think I did. View the content. Here you guys go. If you need to. View the image. All right, we're good. We in there. Oh, burn it! Uh, hold on. This is going to be a bad idea. Not bad. Woo, let's get it. All right. All right, we got another double dash thing in front of us, it looks like. Oh my god, that was... I think that... I think I had the right idea, but I don't know if I went the right way or not. What is through here? What is all this? I don't want to go through there yet. Hold on. One thing at a time. Uh, we're gonna have to do it from up here. Yep. Oh, what? What is going on with my, like, zigzag? Did y'all see that? I gotta keep it lined up. So what is up here? Oh, it must be this thing. Whatever this is. Uh, Slayer Key will unlock a nearby Slayer Gate, completing all six other gates to unlock access to the... Oh, the Fortress of Doom. Oh, dear. 
Uh, I wonder if I can save this and come back to it later. I don't know. Alright, here goes nothing. The betrayer's life signal is nearby. Oh my god, a one-ups right there. Are you kidding? Uh... I'm gonna take damage here. No, I didn't! We out here, baby! Let's go! Alright, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think we're supposed to go down a little bit. I haven't looked at the map much. I don't feel like I need to. Hold on, what's the percentage we're at right now? Does it show all that? I don't think it does. It just says we gotta lo locate the Betrayer. Um, which it looks like down in there. So what we're gonna do is gonna hop down. Nice. There are motion sensors and artillery everywhere. I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance, just as it was mine. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. Nice. All right, checkpoint reached. I feel like you can collect a bunch of stuff in here. Doesn't this just look so cool? Look at that. I bet there's all kind of hidden stuff in this little room itself. All right, the betrayer. All right, uh, Vega data entry. I don't know why I always say that, because that's what all of them say. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> all right, view content. Here's a poor long war, demonic threat invading the world. I like his hammer. That's pretty awesome. I got this gate key. I, I wouldn't mind trying it, but I really don't know where to use it at yet. I'd have to look at the map. It probably tells me. Oh my god, look where we're going. Oh dear. Uh Yeah, about that. Are we we're going get to the exit portal. Okay, we're headed towards the end right now. I got extra lives, we're good. The extraction point has been identified. I will mark its location on your HUD. Uh what? Was just something. What is? Are you kidding me? I got it. That's all. I, that's all I care about. We're good. <laughs> oh my God! No. We're burning. All right. Let's let this thing re re. Uh, yeah, here we go. Re up again. Sometimes you just gotta go for the extra life. I don't know. I like that my health is higher too. I don't know which one I like better. More health or more of that. Oh, what is this? Gimme. I'm 
dying a lot. I gotta have to use extra life. Yeah, I, I knew that was gonna happen. Did I just hop through it? I mean, it's just like a little teleport thing. I just didn't know if we could go through it yet. I don't know if the best thing... Let me use my shotgun. My shotgun's out. Hold on. We gotta fix that. Let me just get some of this ammo, please. Nice. Man, I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Alright, here goes nothing. I can see the 20% reload just being a little bit better. It's, it's ever so slight, you know? I'm surprised how fast the Revenant died. Like, it was like early on. <laughs> oh, we're missing somebody. Hold on. Somebody's still out there. Where are you? Tell me the light. It's just like a small enemy. Nice. That was awesome. All right. Well, on that note, uh, first I'll go ahead and say right now, this is the longest part one I've ever done on my YouTube channel. I would never... I, I, I started getting close to like an hour. This just exceeds that by a lot. So uh, thank you for any of the support you drop on this. It really means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in part two very, very soon. All right, guys. I love you. Take it easy.